<laughs> New yes. Media Radio Hour with Ray Ibarra. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the program. I'm your host, Ray Ibarra. We're here at Pac Stereo TV Studios, and I'm here with the tech guru himself, Mario Hemsley. What's going on, man? Hey, man, it's great to be here. And today is a special day, an exciting day, as it seems like you're bringing it. Well, you With know these what? guests, my brother. Yeah, these guys from Shark Tank. You've seen this gentleman on Shark Tank. Cousins Made Lobster there on the screen. Saving Lomac. What's going on, man? So, brother, good to see you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming in here. Tell me about your experience on the show. Oh, the experience was uh, experience was amazing. Huh. You know, we we went into it not knowing what to expect. Kind of just thinking. Uh, you know, we're hoping that things are going to go well. And thank God they did go well. And since then, we've just been nonstop. Now you've been nonstop. And tell me what's been going on. Six months, seven months you've been you've had your business. Yep. Exponential growth. Tell us about that. Yeah, the business opened about seven months ago, right? A little before seven months. And uh two months later we went on Shark Tank. The next month we opened a restaurant. Month after that we opened an online distribution center in Maine where we're shipping things overnight. Um we're on Gilt right now, a really popular website, shipping items for the holidays. Mm -hmm. And it's just opportunities every day and it's Barbara crazy. is the real deal I know that a lot of people think that the show is well some people have said that the show is rigged yep and that uh, it's, you know it's for entertainment purposes only but Barbara is the real deal tell me about her yeah Barbara's she's an angel she's amazing it is uh, it's definitely not rigged or, or any of those rumors it is the real deal when you get up on that stage uh, it's live and you you're standing there with just you and your thoughts so um, it's Barbara in particular has been amazing. She's kind, she's sweet, she's she's so smart. I mean, we're just every day blessed, and she has an amazing team too. So, Jim and I are lucky guys. Tech Guru, what do you have to say, man? Well, you know what's amazing to me is that here you have a gentleman who's a New Englander. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> and with the Go with, Patriots. And, and, and you know what's amazing. <laughs> In the continuing tradition of Southern California legacy, he's adapted so well. Mm -hmm. I, and the story of him coming from New England to coming to uh, Southern California in and of itself, but the food truck, yeah. that was an exciting segment of the story because everybody here in L.A. knows food trucks are the happening thing. I didn't know that there was a fresh main lobster food truck. <laughs> Come on! Where are you going? <laughs> I didn't know, Ray. I didn't yeah. know. But everybody needs to know, and it's not just that. It's that how they came to be. So we, what we did do is we did go out and get the website so everybody can see that. Yep. So tell us about the food trucks. Then You started with one. How many do you have now? Yeah, right now we are building our second and third. So we're doing a catering truck. So it's a little smaller, so we can go to private residences and, and do you know a party at twenty or thirty, and we're also uh, building another one right now just because we can't keep up with the demand. So so what what kind of hours do you keep for that food truck? Man, you uh, must be up really early in the morning. Yeah, well we've got an amazing <laughs> we've got an amazing staff. Our guys work really really hard. Um, you know between Jim and I and our staff, uh, depending on the days. I mean you're up uh, you know at the break of dawn and you're you know you're finishing when you you put your head on the pillow, but these guys, in particular, we have a really, really good uh, staff, and they're plugging away, but they're there early, and really just coordinating the shipments. We get our meat in daily from Maine. We get the bread, and every, every product comes from Maine, so um, wow. it comes daily. So that being shipped also is an added kind of trick that most other trucks or people really don't have to deal with. We have a, a question here, actually a statement here from uh, Keisha Cookie Girl online. What's up, Keisha? Hey, personally, one of the reasons it's become so popular, meaning Shark Tank, is because in some cases you're seeing entrepreneurs' dreams come true. You are seeing legitimate, hard-working people, average people coming across the screen saying, I've given my all. Yeah. What do you say about that? Yeah, I mean, she's absolutely right. I mean, you, you can, these are real people, these are real stories, they are real life. So that's what's cool. And um, they are pouring, pouring their, you know, their soul out in front of seven million people. So the pressure when they're on that stage, they know that six, seven million people are gonna be watching. You know, you you want to put your best foot forward. You want to do your best, and when they do get a deal and things do work out in the end, pff, I mean, it is a dream come true because it's just there's so much build up and there's so much time that you put into something. So, she's right, Keisha. You nailed it. Now you have so uh, let's go to a picture of 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 Saban and his cousin Jim because yeah. Jim's not here. But you guys go way way oh, back. Yeah. You have uh, oh, I mean oh, those yeah. photos of you when you were young on, on yeah. uh, not that yeah. you're older or anything. Yeah. But, 
It's, it's amazing. Tell me about about Jim. Uh, Jimmy is I call him Jimmy. He's a little. He's like my little, almost like a little brother. You know, mm-hmm. I was a only child, and every time we would have, I was I was older than Jim. You know, three three and a half years. But he was just like, we would always play, all, you know, Christmas or uh, Thanksgiving. You'd always have these holidays, and we'd always be playing Nintendo, and I'd always be beating him up, you know, like <laughs> a big brother should beat up a little brother. But um, he's a really sweet person. Mm-hmm. He's a hard worker. He's really smart. Uh, he's an excellent athlete. He played Division One hockey, and uh, he was very, very highly recruited. And uh, he's a heck of a guy. So to be working with him, you know, we don't argue. We, uh, it's easy. It's really easy. Now, you, in our initial interview, you said something really cool and interesting about how you took some kind of compatibility yep. psychological test. Yeah. What was that all about, man, for our viewers? What, what was that all about? Well, uh, one of our uncles does a compatibility test, and he does it, I think, for uh, big corporate uh, you know, jobs. And uh, it was Jim's idea for us to take this. And, you know, we are grown men. We have our, our habits, and we have our... You know, our, our, what we do and what we don't do well. And we didn't really know that about each other. And we preferred to know that ahead of time or a, a better idea than later. So you uh, take a compatibility test. It'd probably be great for a lot of marriages and people getting married. <laughs> um, but you learn about the person. You learn what they like to do, what they don't like to do. Um, one example was if things get bad, I I'm, I'm, wouldn't be more prone to quit. I'd, you know, this isn't working. Let's move. And Jim would be more of the guy that says, no, I want to dig my head in the sand. I want to, I want to make this happen. Uh, so when things do go bad and when I do want to bail, he'll, he'll say, hey, think about it. We, you, we know how you are. And I, I might be right. Maybe we should bail or maybe we shouldn't. But at least we acknowledge that we have different characteristics and character traits. Doc, you're, you're shaking your head over. Well, you know, you I was watching him and I was thinking about, again, how he was faced and thrust into that moment on the show where he was literally, you know, there, that's why it's called the Shark Tank. Yep. And everybody mm-hmm. wants to take a look. Go search on YouTube, ABC Shark Tank. You can go get see the episodes, and it's also highlighted at the site. But he was so challenged because he came in. If I believe you were off, you wanted fifty thousand for five percent. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, were we were serious. We were serious. We still want five yeah. percent. Yeah, we we were serious. I mean, we we really. Uh, <laughs> I, I say? And they were so ballsy. Here's the curious. thing, everybody. Let me just tell you what happened too. Everybody on the panel challenged him about that. Yeah. yeah. Every no. single shark. Yep, and you were there when you were getting challenged too. It, it wasn't just for those eight minutes. You're there for how long? Oh yeah, we were on stage for fifty minutes. Okay. Yeah, Ooh. we were on stage for about fifty minutes. So for say an hour, getting grilled. Getting grilled. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It was not a quick, quick and easy process. Well, who was the toughest shark in your mind? Mm, I don't know. Maybe maybe Damon that day, just because uh, of his questions. Um, we really we really went in well prepared I think so we were I don't think any of them were too tough uh, it was just it's just the moment really the moment heightens everything you're standing there and you've been thinking about it for months and you've been practicing and the night before and the week before you know you get a little you know that's really what the pressure is they're just asking questions and it's just really how prepared you are mm-hmm. and what you're willing to do that's really it so, th- so I have to know going into this yep what did you really think was going to happen? I mean, just because, you know, not yeah. that you were going to, you know, yeah. you, you know, there's a thing in the back of your mind. You go, here I am. I'm, I mean, what did you think? Because um, I know it was not what you expected because there's no way it could have been. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, uh, good question. We really, I can tell you, we really liked Barbara going into it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So okay. going into, going into this process, we, we had heard great things about her. We know that she had done deals with a couple people involved with food, so we knew that like we really would, you know that would be a great great look for us. Uh, we're not a tech company. We didn't you know so maybe one of the sharks might not have been a better fit. Um, but other than that, it's just hard to hard to predict what's going to happen. We knew that we were going to stick to our guns. We knew that we weren't going to give up a lot of equity. We knew that we would walk away if need be, and we really just wanted to expose our product. Um, stay positive no matter what if people got negative and people were you know rude or however it is portrayed we didn't want to lose our cool Mm -hmm. and whatever happened happened so that was really the most important thing because you can see a lot of times people get confrontational 
yeah, or uh, yeah. they get sensitive, and you know, then it that's what the sharks want. That's good TV. It just snowballs. And you know, they like we it. weren't gonna yeah. do that. Yeah, we weren't gonna do that. And I think we did a good job of trying to keep our cool. Now, here's one. a statement on here that kind of. Uh, fits into what you just said you, you just presented your product for 15 minutes on a nationally broadcasted TV show that will be re-aired at least two or three times and sell a ton of shows on iTunes yep that sort of advertising would cost about a million dollars or more so oh, who cares yeah. if you get a deal yeah I mean and that's the mentality you have to have if you're if you're proud of your product you're proud of whatever it is you're doing you're going on national TV in front of six seven million people and you're talking for a while I mean, how do you lose? Like, mm -hmm. that's just, and, and the proof's in the pudding. If you look at any business, whether they got a deal or whether they didn't get a deal, their business skyrocketed, or at least their website hits, uh, whatever it is, people are driven. So the show is a beast. So what is, in your estimation, what is the Shark Tank effect mean for you personally? Define that for you. Um, just un indescribable... Uh, <laughs> opportunity uh, uh, doors just are opening everywhere we're learning more than we could have ever expected to learn we are you know I'm here today meeting you guys and uh, that's a great opportunity every day we, we get new opportunities um, that we wouldn't have had mm -hmm. and the smart p person who has been on this show are using those opportunities for uh, for their business and meeting new people, learning and growing, like I couldn't even imagine. You're really things. doing it though here in LA because I see on your website you got pictures with all sorts of celebrities here yeah. in Los Angeles. Yep. So that has to be really exciting for you. Yeah, it's it's really really fun. Like you know, seeing the people that come through. You got Barbara right there. That was in uh, Pasadena. We've got Tori Spelling and her family, uh, Lisa Kudrow, Andy Dick. Carson Daly said it was the best lobster he's ever had. Wow, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. went on his show. He said it was the best lobster he's ever had. Um, Allie McKay from KTLA. She actually has family from Maine. So uh, she loved the food. Uh, Jillian Barbary. My man, Dr. Dre, of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dr. Dre, Kemba Walker, yeah. Arian Foster, Lupe Fiasco, Brian Unger. We were on the History Channel show, <laughs> Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> I know I mean, it's, me, just, it's insane. Let me ask you this. Would, would this have all happened in, in Portland, Maine, or Maine, where you're from? No, no, no. These guys, no, it's too cold there. No, no, no. no. You're uh, going to different parties, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These guys don't go to those parties. No hanging out yeah, at the beach, yeah. Yeah, the lunch truck at the no, Venice Beach, right? No. Is Venice Beach a hot spot for you? Um, actually, it's not the best location for uh -huh. us, Venice Beach. Um, Venice Beach, I think, is more people you know, want to be on the beach, getting some fruit, getting a slice of pizza. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been that amazing. That being said, they have a first Friday at Abbott Kinney. Oh, uh, yeah. For yeah. food trucks. That's uh, You a, need the up because you're so up. In a way, it's upscale. You're, you're it's up, you're, expensive. It's, yeah. you know, if you're having lunch there, uh, you know, I eat out every single day. I, I don't cook, and I know what you know. A good food, a good lunch, ten, twelve, thirteen dollars. Our prices are, you know, our lobster roll is twelve fifty, which in Maine you couldn't even buy. They're much more expensive, but. Uh, you know, it's an expensive lunch, so but you're going to get great food. You're going to get the best food. But everybody loves your product. I, I noticed it. even after it, the deal was done yeah. and they were closing, David goes, yeah. you got that. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody up yeah. there, I wish I had taken, because everybody across the panel made a face when they bit into it. Right, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Great observation yeah, there, Doc. Yeah. yeah. The, the quality of food is, it's the, if you like lobster, it's the best lobster in the world. Mm. Maine is known for its lobster. Mm -hmm. That's what it's known for. Uh, we fly it in daily. It's fresh. You're going to get it that way. And uh, it's like sushi. You know, it's the best product that you could have. We have a beautiful young lady in the studio here. Oh, yeah. And I know that she wants to ask you a, a, a question or two. Oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead and introduce Hi. yourself. And, and uh, what do you want to ask Saban? Okay, well, I'm Kimberly Lola. Kimberly. Hi. Um, well, actually, I have a question in regards to Shark Tank. Had you pitched your ideas to any investors before going on the show? If so, what was the process like compared to Shark Tank? And if not, why not? Um, first of all, how am I answering this? I'm talking to you back there, just so you know. Hey, don't feel rude. My back's to you. Hey, no, we, I can hey, see you. It's okay. Hey, Saban, we didn't print up the prep sheet. Yeah, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. 
We're rolling with the punches. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. good. <laughs> We're having fun. I just don't want her to be mad at me. No. <laughs> what a jerk. The guy didn't even look at me. Um, okay, well, let's hear it. Yeah. No, we had not, we had not, uh, we had not pitched the question to anyone. Okay. All right. We had not pitched our idea to anyone. Uh -huh. we, we, had, uh, we had only opened for two months, less than two months. I thought she should get closer. Now she's like that. All right, excellent. Oh, there you go. Um, no, we'd only opened for two okay. months at the time. So oh, That's right. Two months of increasing sales. Increasing sales. That's Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we had, we, literally just, uh, we literally just opened. So we weren't even thrilled about the idea of giving our business or any percentage away, even on Shark Tank, um, which seemed short-sighted at the time because... It was so new. So in our words, our baby, we wanted to smother. Who knows? We didn't want, who knows? Yeah. 15% yeah. could be a lot. Or, right. or of course, it could be a little. Um, so that's why when we went on and we said 5%, to us, 5% at that time seemed lot. like, oh my God, we're going to give away 5%. That's so much. Uh -huh. um, so the answer is no to that. But uh, in hindsight, yeah, if it was the best 15%, you, know, you couldn't so give so, away more. And you have to deal with the idea. The first thing they did was offer you more money for more percent. Exactly. That's the first place yeah, they yeah, challenged Yeah, the guy Robert actually offered us a hundred thousand dollars for twenty five percent. Right. We and like we said uh, on the show, we weren't there for the money. We we uh, were there for the opportunity. Right. We really didn't need the money. We were there exactly for what we got, which is, you know, someone to mentor us, someone that we can count on. Mm -hmm. And uh, we we got just that. I mean, Barbara, you, you you're not going to get any better than Barbara because of her experience and and her background, and and her uh, genius for marketing. Now she told you to put your faces on on the lunch trucks yep. there, mm -hmm. yep. and that was a brilliant move. And, yeah. and you you're going to do that, right? Yep. Yeah, we have uh, we just finalized all the uh, all the exact photos that we wanted. Fresh um, is up there. We have fresh. We got fresh up there, which <laughs> you know, and you, and I tell you, it's it seems like such a dull moment. Like, hello, you should of course have this. And she hit it right off. You know, mm -hmm. it was it's such a good idea. But uh, everything we run by her daily, um, whether it's a text or an email or a call, she responds so quickly, and she always sheds like uh, an angle that I never even thought of. You know, like, oh my god, and it's that's why we're so lucky. Now, what part of the business do you handle? What part does Jimmy handle? Um, I handle uh, most of the uh, accounting, numbers, bills. I get, I get, the, I get the lucky job of paying all the bills, <laughs> and uh, all the invoices, um, and the employees. A lot of like all the hiring of the employees and the scheduling, and I, I deal a lot with the social media stuff. Mm. Jim, Jim handles um, the uh, shipping mostly. He does, he does all the coordination of the shipping, how much we're ordering, which is a really daunting task because we do order daily. Um, so he does all that. He does the coordination of those. He does all our online work uh, that we ship. So all, really, the the distribution stuff. He's actually back in Maine right now mm -hmm. handling that, and he spent a good a lot a lot of time on that. Doc, can we, can we get a, a picture of their Facebook page on here just to see what they're doing on social media? While you're doing that, we have another question on here. Um, how do you turn your marketing plans into marketing actions? Um, well, we let's see. How do we do that? We we really just. We think about them. <laughs> we probably, we probably, <laughs> that know, helps. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> thinking's good, I think. Uh, you know, we, we probably, Jim and I think things to death. You know, so if we think of it's an idea, then we, we're going and thinking and thinking and thinking. And then eventually, either we, we think it's a good enough idea and we try it. And if it works, so be it. If it doesn't work, you know, we give up. Or again, like we, we talked about earlier, maybe too early, but, um, you know, we just really we're open to try anything. Mm -hmm. We were open to try anything. It's just what I've learned is the mo really the number one thing I've learned the most through this whole thing is that time is so valuable. Yeah. So if you decide you're going to do something, do you decide you're going to do this sort of a business or open here or do anything? You better want to do it and you better really think it's good. Otherwise, you're wasting time, which you could lose money, but time you can't get back. Yeah. And I think that's that's something that we're learning a lot. Now, there's your, your social media, your Facebook page, your yep. great page, I yeah. love that. And what I notice about that is that you always post where your truck is going to be. Mm -hmm. How valuable is that for your business? It's essential. Between Facebook and Twitter, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's where I'd say probably 90% of people find out where we are. Maybe the other 10 go to our website. Maybe that's 80, 80, 20, but I mean, it's the majority of people are on Twitter, they're on Facebook, and they're just checking their daily apps because I'm at the truck and they come. Say, oh yeah, I saw it today on my phone. I had to come. 
or I, I checked the notice on Twitter. I had to come. I knew you were close. You're in my area. So it's, uh, especially of our business. I don't know. Other businesses, it, it does the same effect. But, man, I mean, everyday people are checking, and that's where they're going. Well, I want to congratulate you. You know, at, we know we're used to looking at sites for their technology integration, and so yours was first rate. Hey, Social nice. media, dude. <laughs> nice. You know, tracking the truck, this is what you want and this is the phenomena that's occurring yeah. it's a big deal here in la and not only that gotta really uh congratulate you on the online ordering yeah uh was, i'm gonna be checking this out you know i got family who love lobsters i gotta check this out you know because the slogan is right what'd you say uh, straight from uh, from the main shore to your door. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But yeah, you guys, it's right there. Take a look. You up meals, live lobsters, lobster tails, appetizers, entrees, all available. Get it in. Get your orders in online, and they get it out there to you. Yeah. So this is the thing, and you know, yeah, okay. I'm. I'll, uh, <laughs> I should have brought yeah. you guys. You know. Yeah, yeah dude. You know, I'm really yeah. Bad, right? Right? Yeah. I walked in empty-handed. I didn't. Is that's that what okay. this is all about? Is this a guilt trip? Yeah, that's what, is that what you guys are doing? Like, you got me. Uh, yeah, because my mouth. You see me like. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Let's, yeah. Talk, let's talk about your restaurant here. Yep. Uh, when did that come into the picture? Because it was food trucks first, and then your restaurant. Yep. How did that come about? We uh, we had an opportunity. Uh, we had uh, close relations with a uh, uh, restaurant owner in Pasadena who had a pre-existing uh, venue. And, um, you know, we knew that we were going to get a lot of exposure. We knew that uh, the, the one positive about the truck is we get to go and meet people every day at different uh, areas. Mm. The only negative is, is if today we're in the valley and you live on the west side, mm -hmm. you're not going to drive to the valley to get our food. And that might, you know, you maybe you're craving it. So what we decided to do, in, in this instance especially, is uh, we wanted to have a permanent location that... Strong. People could always go to. You can always go. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a bigger kitchen so we could add a couple new menu items. Um, and, and people could always count on it. If you want to have a birthday party or you're from the East Coast and you just want to watch the Patriots game on Sunday or whatever it may be, you could go there. And that's one thing that we weren't doing. You know, it's hard to do on the truck. Mm -hmm. So that was really the, the focus. Can I read this menu? Yo, please oh, do. Yeah. Yeah. See, now you know, I'm feeling bad. You know? Man. You're going to get a delivery tomorrow at your door. I mean, God. Main yeah. lobster roll. This is the lobster <laughs> roll. is the thing. Yeah, yeah, you got to watch out for this guy. This is, he's really sorry. Yeah, he's, he's really he's smart. Is that what this is? Yeah. He's really <laughs> slick over here, man. Yeah. Fresh chilled main lobster roll. <laughs> served on a toasted New England style roll. <laughs> Lightly brushed with butter and delicately lined with mayo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got I know. Oh, and don't forget the lobster martini, you all. <laughs> best of the best fresh Maine lobsters served naked, presented elegantly in a martini glass, and garnished with lemon and a lobster stuffed olive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the gourmet lobster mac and cheese, hey, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. A mix of pasta shells, cheddar, and Asiago cheeses, garlic, and finished with panko crumbs, cousin seasoning, and oh yes, fresh Maine lobster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just had to throw Bam. that in. I just had to throw that Can in. Can I get a copy yeah. of that just yeah. from my website? Yeah. 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 Is it, can we work something out here? <laughs> <laughs> but it is anyway. impressive. Right. Those, right. It's impressive. It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. And there's the restaurant, you guys. For those who want to see the layout from the restaurant. Oh, that looks beautiful. Now that's a real hot spot there in Pasadena, Old Town, right? Yeah. Yep. Because you got the Rose Bowl right over there for football season yeah, and everything. Yeah. And that's a great location. Yeah, we get a lot of people in there that are out there for those exact reasons, doing the football thing, and um, it's a great crowd. It's a great street. Pasadena has got a, a really, really rich history, and we're happy. We, we're really happy and the people that come in starting to get a lot of regulars which is cool which is really what we want it's like when you're back in maine and you walk into a bar and you know everyone <laughs> it's it's starting to happen like that there which is really the cool. buzz is starting to happen here in los angeles and you're starting to get a following then yeah yeah well how how exciting has it been then since getting all these celebrities to to you know hang out and say hey this is the best lobster man yeah Boy, how do you feel about that oh it's it's definitely you know it's a great feeling you know i'm smiling big right now uh, but it's a great feeling, you know, it, it, it's really equal. I tell you, we get a lot of people that come and they they say they're from the East Coast. And th that might be even a better feeling uh, because the celebrities come and a lot of celebrities are from the East Coast. Uh, we still have yet to meet like a guy like Ben Affleck or Matt Damon, who we really, you know, Boston guys, Mark Wahlberg, right, these right, guys. Right. Well, they need to have our food. Right. Um, but when celebrities come and they love it it's definitely kind of gets your ego going and you feel really cool yeah. but we get a lot of new england people that come 
and they're like, hey, I grew up in Massachusetts, or I grew up in Maine, or New Hampshire, New York, and this food is just like when I grew up. It brings me back home, and I, I tell you, it's such a thank you, and that's really the that's a good thing because we feel like. We did our job. Wait till you get the tech guru in there, man. Yeah. He's yeah. going to bring the house down, man. He is going to bring the He's house gonna down. He's going to tear down some walls. Yeah, I know. Man. I can see it. I know. Well, okay, what advice then would you give somebody who wants to go on Shark Tank who says, because this is one of the questions I get all the time mm -hmm. online is, uh, I have a great idea. I should be on Shark Tank. Yeah. Like it's that easy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So what, what, what advice would you give? I mean, what did you personally go through to get on that show? Oh, well, you go through, um, you go through an immense amount of, of, of just do, due diligence on the front side of, of are, is your product good enough? Is your business good enough? Uh, are you going to be good on TV? You know, they have their own process, um, you know, to, just to get you through. But I would say for the, for the entrepreneur, because I've, I've got that a lot. You know, after the show, we've, we get approached all the time from people who are like, oh, you know, I got this great idea. Yeah, Can I go right, talk yeah. to you? You know, yeah. um, you got to got to a have a strong concept something that's you know, interesting and if it's it ideally should be working at the time you know it shouldn't be just like a, oh I have this plan but I have no sales no numbers no idea and there's, it hasn't been enacted but you have to know your numbers know your margins know everything about your business and be confident and if you're confident in yourself and your business and you you go and you wait in those long lines you'll make it you, you'll make it through it's the people that deserve to be there, I really believe they, they've done an excellent job, and their products are exceptional. We've, we've had the lucky opportunity to eat uh, Pork Bell Barbecue, Daisy Cakes, two people that Barbara that. did deal, deals with. Mm -hmm. And, man, their food is ex unbelievable. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, they're not there for just – they didn't get there for uh, – Yeah, you paid your dues, their man. Their food I mean, is yeah. unbelievable. And you ask the guys from Pork Bell Barbecue, yeah. his name's Heath or, or Daisy from Daisy Cakes, how many trade shows they did, how, how much – work how much effort they put into before the show even happened these guys were grinding for years mm -hmm. um so you have to you have to put in the work and you have to know your stuff your product has to be awesome well i think we know why uh you know the beginning of the show you were actually another one of the points where they kind of attacked you when they said, well, why can't I go out and get yep. two guys yeah. and put them in shorts and flip-flops <laughs> yeah. and sell lobster myself? I think Saban has obviously shown why because it still comes down to the individuals, the makeup of the individuals, the fact that you were able to handle that situation yep. and how you represent here today. Yeah. It's not a casual undertaking. That's obvious that you're not just two guys in shorts and, and flip flops. That's yeah. obvious. Yeah, I, thank you. It, it's true. You know it, and you know we're proud of that. We're proud of who we are, what we stand for. Um, and you can't just go duplicate it. You can't go do that. So as good of a, you know, it's a common question that Mr. Wonderful, you know, asks, and he says that a lot. And we were actually prepared for him to say that. Um, you know, why can't I just replace you with someone else? Well, you, you, you know, I'm one of a kind. My right. partner, my partner is one of a kind. Right. Our idea is one of mm -hmm. a kind, and uh, the proof's in the pudding because you can see how well That's we've right. done. So, uh, they got another statement here online it says, "You know, sometimes those sharks really tick me off, or maybe it's just the way <laughs> they said it in for TV, <laughs> and really doesn't happen like that." But I, but I hate it when one of the sharks are like, "You have ten seconds to answer, oh, yeah, 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 or the deal's yeah, out yeah, the yeah, table, yeah, or yeah, 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 um, you were ballsy on that dude. Right? Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah. come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't scared. Yeah, yeah, shit. Hey, Kimberly, do you have another question that you want to ask uh, Sabin here? Yeah, well, actually, I was wondering how long did you have this idea before you actually made it happen? Was it like yeah. one day you guys said, hey, this would be great, or had you been over and over talking about it? That's a great question. Um, <clears throat> interesting, uh, Jim. Jim had gone to college and I'd been living out here and we hadn't we kept in touch but sometimes with family members who live on opposite coast we haven't seen each other in a couple of years and he came out to LA to visit uh, one of his girlfriends and uh, not one of his girlfriends <laughs> his girlfriend only one that's a Freudian dude no 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 I swear good lobster business boy oh yeah I got some explaining to do now this is bad Okay. Uh, no, he, he came out to see his girlfriend, for the record, and uh, we were hanging out, and we had a great time. We went out, 
Uh, we had drinks, we partied, and he went home, and he, we were on two nights later talking, just like, oh, I had a good time, we had a good time, it was great seeing you hanging out, we hadn't seen each other in a while. Like, yeah, he had a job where he had some free time, I, I was selling real estate, so my days, you know, fluctuate to my times. So it'd be great if we could work together, if we could do something, it'd be really awesome. And um, we hung up the phone, and he called back about an hour later, and he was like, well, God, you know, what about lobster rolls? What about bringing lobster to California? Because there's no, we could never find it. And I was like, oh, it's a good idea. It's all right, you know. Hung up the phone. I called him back 45 minutes later. I was like, that's it. Let's do it. <laughs> and that was about, wow. uh, that was about wow. probably 14 months before we opened. So oh. we, we, the first three months, we were, we were only thinking we were going to do a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So we looked for restaurants. And then we realized we want to do a food truck. Mm -hmm. So then we started doing the food truck. And then just anything from the name to your Twitter handle, to your color, to your logo, to your menu, Everything. to how you're going to get the product and putting it together for guys who had never really opened a business mm -hmm. before um, and being on two, di two different coasts. So he'd be calling me at mm -hmm. you know 1230 at night wow. because it'd be 930 my mm -hmm. time and I was just ready to talk. So that took a you know, that was a real hindrance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it took about, I think, 14 months probably and we opened and... And we, we haven't stopped. It's next, been seven Next months. thing you know, you guys will be doing a variety show or a comedy show somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what my mom wants. My mom keeps yeah. pressing. She's like, you need your own reality show. <laughs> like, oh, uh, yeah, mom's yeah. right. Yeah, mom yeah. is right. Yeah, she, she's, she's dying for that. And we're headed down to the end here. Any, any last things you'd like to say or any advice to somebody watching this or watching going to watch the replay? Or maybe wants to get on Shark Tank or has a, a an entrepreneurial idea. Yeah, I, I would just say... Whatever you do, and this goes back to anything in life, you know, you need to do it well. You need to know what you're doing. You need to love what you're doing. Um, there's always going to be good times. There's going to be bad times. If you have a partner, make sure you're in love with them because it's a marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm officially married to Jim, and uh, you know, <laughs> no, but you you know, you just you got to love what you're doing and be prepared for uh, the highs and lows. Just like anything in life. Speaking of lows, okay, one last question here. Um, unless Mario has another no, question No, no, no. Um, is this, uh, what, what was the highest high and what was the lowest low? Highest high. <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, we, we, the highest high, pro, I mean, after the show was really the highest high, but we, uh, we had a chance to go to New York, um, I think a month after and meet Barbara, meet her team, spend a little time with them. And I would say that was probably the highest high because up until that point, you're like, God, I hope every she is what we hope she is. I hope she, you know, and she surpassed all of our expectations. So um, being, you know, you know, it's like you, you're, you're hanging out with her and you're just like, you are amazing. And you, I, couldn't have, I couldn't have even expected this. So that was probably the highest of high. Um, lowest of low... I don't, know, I don't think we've had a low yet. You know, it's just really the, like the lack of sleep is probably the lowest of low. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's a lot of work. You know, you, you think that what you were doing before was hard work and whatever, but you wake up in the morning and you roll over to you know, 130 new emails and they just keep trickling in and there's so many things to do. It's not a low, it's a positive, mm -hmm. but boy, it's, it's, it's just a hard work. And there are days of, I assume that, you don't really feel like doing it, but you do it anyway, right? Yeah, you have to do it. When you own it, that's the other difference. Yeah. <laughs> when you own your own business, there aren't days off. Right. Uh, one thing, the good thing about having a partner is Jim and I can take some time and I can say, hey, you know, uh, take the day off or wherever, you know, go have fun and I, I'll handle this stuff. And there's been a couple of times I've gone out of town for a weekend and he's, I'll still text him, say, just relax, have fun. Mm -hmm. But if, especially if you own it, you're only one person, you're the boss. You're not having days you're not having days off <laughs> <laughs> ever. Yeah. If you're busy and you're doing well, there aren't days off. It's always on. You're always on. Always on. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. lack of sleep is a good thing. Lack of sleep is a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Dark circles yeah. on your eyes yeah. mean you're doing well. You know. Right. Yeah. 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 Anything else, Doc? You want to add to that? One? No. Just want to remind everyone to take a look at the website www.cousinsmainlobster.com. Take a look, you guys. Wonderful site. Remember, you can go there, order online. You can track the truck. Mm -hmm. You know, know where it is. You know, through Twitter, using the latest technology, catering. They got it. Take a look in the news, plus links to that wonderful episode of ABC Shark Tank. Yes. So it's all there at www.cousinsmainlobster.com. 
Sabin Lomack, yes. thanks a lot for Thank coming you. on. Thank you, guys. Thanks for out of class. I want to be invited back. <laughs> <laughs> I bring lobster next time. <laughs> right. There you go. All man. right. Well, this is Ray Barr for the New Media Radio Hour. We've been here with Sabin Lomack from Cousins Main Lobster. You've seen him on Shark Tank, Track the Truck on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. <laughs>